Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to transfer photos between iPhone and iMac. This video was suggested by the GoPro guy in a comment asking me to show all of the different ways to get photos from a phone to an Apple computer. There are so many ways to do this that the video would be hours long, so I decided to show the 5 ways that I think are the quickest to do. Comment down below if you have any suggestions for videos I should make in the future, and don't forget to like and subscribe. The first way to transfer photos is through USB. This is best suited for transferring large amounts of photos at a time, or every single photo on your device. To do this, first have the Photos application open on your Mac. Once it's open, plug in your iPhone or iPad into the Mac with a USB cable, which is the charging cable for those who didn't know that already. A tab will show up under Devices with your device's name, so click on that and it will tell you to unlock the device. It may require you to enter the password to your iPhone or iPad in order for the computer to access your photos, but after doing all of that, all of your photos will show up on the screen. You can individually select photos to import, or you can import them all at once. The second way to transfer photos between iPhone and iMac is through iCloud Photos. This is a service run by Apple that automatically stores your photos in the cloud so you can access them from any device you're logged into with your iCloud account. Photos are uploaded to the cloud when your device is connected to Wi-Fi and its battery is charged. On iOS 11 and later, your photos can upload over cellular too. Now I'll show you how to enable it. First open settings. From here, click on your profile, and then iCloud. Here I should mention something important. On the free plan of iCloud, you have 5 gigabytes of storage in the cloud, which is fine for me, having around 300 photos and 100 videos. But for those with a bunch of photos, you will have to upgrade your plan to upload all of them. Now back to the tutorial. All you have to do is go into the Photos tab and turn on iCloud Photos to enable it for your iPhone. Once you have done this, you will have to enable it on your Mac too to transfer the photos. On your Mac, open the Photos application and click on Photos, and then Preferences in the top left corner. Go to the iCloud tab and turn on iCloud Photos. A blue bar will appear at the bottom of the window showing that the photos on your Mac are being uploaded to the cloud and then it will download the ones already stored in the cloud. After a couple of minutes, or maybe an hour depending on your Wi-Fi, the photos will be downloaded. As you can see, my photos have already been downloaded and it downloaded the albums also that I created on my phone. The third way to transfer photos is by using AirDrop. This is a viable option if you only want to transfer a couple photos and not your entire photo library. It is also very simple and quick. To do this, Press the share icon on one of the photos you want to share, and then select the rest if you want to share more. To use AirDrop, you need to have Bluetooth on, so tap the AirDrop symbol to turn it on. Nearby devices with Bluetooth will show up on the screen, so tap on the one you want to send it to. On the other device, you will need to accept the AirDrop before it sends. You can choose to open it in Photos or save it to Downloads. It is slightly different to send a photo from a Mac to an iPhone. Right click on the photo and select share, then airdrop. You will need to have Bluetooth turned on on your Mac and the device you are sending the photo to. On your iPhone or iPad, open the control center and turn on Bluetooth. Hold down where it shows the Bluetooth icon and turn airdrop to everyone. Once your device pops up, click on it. Accept the airdrop on your iPhone or iPad, and then it will send. The next way to transfer photos between iPhone and Mac is through email. You can send yourself an email with the photos from one device and access it on the other one. On the default mail app, you tap the screen and select insert photo or video. And on the Gmail app, you tap the paperclip icon in the top right and select a photo. To get the photo on your Mac, Open the mail application, the Gmail website, or whatever you use to get emails, and open the email you sent to yourself. Right click on the image and select Same Image As. Rename it and select where you want to put it, then click Save. To send an image from your Mac to an iPhone or iPad, it's basically the same thing, except to save the image you have to either hold down and tap Save for the default mail app, or tap the image and tap the download button for the Gmail app. The final way to transfer photos between iPhone and iMac is by texting it to yourself. This is very simple. 
To send it from iPhone to iMac, you just tap the Photos icon under the camera icon and select the photo you want to send, then send it. Open the iMessage application on your Mac. When you get the photo, right-click on it and select Add to Photos Library. To send it from your Mac to your iPhone, have the Photos application or Finder open along with iMessage. Drag the photo you want to send over onto iMessage. Press Enter or Return to send the photo. On your iPhone or iPad, tap on the photo and select the Share icon. Tap Save Image and it will be saved. 